Hello guys, welcome to Creative Learning with Aru and Atal. Today we are going to discuss uh, the concept of divisibility uh, or divisibility rules. So what is a divisibility rule? Divisibility rules means that uh, it is a shortcut method to determine whether a given number is divisible by another number or not. Like for example, suppose uh, uh, there is a number called 252. How do you check that whether that number is divisible by 2 or not without performing the actual division process, the long division process. So divisibility rules, we can say that uh, these are shortcut rules that helps us to check divisibility without performing the long division process without performing the long division process we test for divisibility and this is very helpful in cases of uh, in cases when we uh, when there is a very large number given to us and we need to uh, perform the division in uh, quick method so we need to just check it there whether the, we don't uh, we don't need the actual question or reminder we just need to check that whether the number is divisible by that number or um, by another number or not like for example suppose you want to check divisibility for 8000 is 86,416 with 11 so you need to check whether 86,416 is divisible by 11 or not we don't need the actual question and actual reminder we need to just check whether it divides it or not so this is where the divisibility rule can help us a lot now let's check the divisibility for different numbers like for example if the um, we need in the divisibility rule for 2 is that the unit place digit for the given number unit place digit for the given number should be uh, 0 2 4 6 and 8 uh, so suppose uh, as i said in, uh, suppose take this number only 86416 we can easily say since its unit place digit is 6 we can say the number is div divisible by 2 let's take example of 3 for 3 let's check the divisibility rule for 3 for 3 the divisibility rule is that the sum of digits should be divisible by 3 sum of digits of the number of the number should be divisible should be a multiple of 3 you can say should be divisible by 3 Now let's take this again this number only 86416 so in this case 8 6 14 4 18 1 19 6 25 so this is uh, the sum of all the uh, digits is 25 so we can say this number is not divisible by 3 now let's take example of let's take uh, let's check the divisibility rule for 4 for 4 the divisibility rule is uh, the last uh, two digit number suppose uh, 86416 this number is given to us we need to check the last two digits of the number if the last two digits of that number is a multiple of 4 then we can say the number is divisible by 4 like um, so last two digits of the number should be a multiple of 4 or it should be 0 0 also um, if the last two digits are 0 because since uh, see if if this number is 86400 then also we can say that the last two digits are 0 uh, double 0 so they, they then also we can say the number is divisible by 4 what about the divisibility rule of 5 what about the divisibility rule of 5 the divisibility rule for 5 is the number uh, unit place digit should be 5 or 0. So unit place digit we have to check only in this case. In uh, unit place digit, in this case the unit place digit should be 5 or 0. 5 or 0. Like if we go over the uh, table of uh, multiplication table of 5 then we can see this 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So uh, we can always uh, we can uh, we can see the pattern here that uh, the uh, unit place digit is coming either 5 or is coming as 0. So this is a divisibility test for 5. 
what about the divisibility rule of six divisibility rule of six is that uh, the number should be uh, the multiple of both two and three so, uh, like for example if we can check this number only it is six thousand four hundred and sixty it is divisible by two but it is not divisible by three we, we checked it earlier also the sum of digits was 25 so this number is not divisible by three so if we take the divis if we uh, try to divide this number we won't be able to divide it by 6 also the number um, because the divisibility rule of 6 state that the number should be a multiple of should be a multiple of it should be a multiple of 2 and 3 or we can say the number should be divisible by 2 and 3 let's check the divisibility rule for 7 the divisibility rule for 7 states that uh, we have to take the twice of the unit place digit and then subtract it from the remaining digits and then the number obtained should be a multiple of 7 like for example let's take with an example like for example we are given a number called 364 to check whether this number is divisible by 7 or not we have to take the double of the unit place digit so double of unit place digit is 8 2 times 4 is 8 then we have to subtract it from the remaining digits 36 minus 8 if we subtract 36 minus 8 it will be 28 so now 28 is a multiple of 7 27 times 4 is 28 so we can say that 7 divides 364 if you want to check you can also check it uh, if you want to 364 by 7 then it will be 5 and 2 so this is the divisibility rule for 7 is we have to take the double of unit place digit and subtract it from remaining number remaining number then the resulting number should be a multiple of 7 So this is the divisibility rule for 7. Let's talk about the divisibility rule of 8. Divisibility rule of 8 says that if the number formed by the last 3 digits of the given number is either triple zero or uh, it, is a, it is divisible by 8. So the last 3 digit number 3 digit number form the last three digit number should be uh, divisible by eight it should be divisible by eight or it should be triple zero and this rule is very similar to the divisibility rule for four in which we uh, took the last two digit for eight is the last three digits okay let's take the divisibility rule of 9 divisibility rule of 9 is also very similar to divisibility rule of 3 in this also sum of digits should be sum of digits should be a multiple of 9 should be a multiple of 9 for example if we take the number uh, let's take the number 87,000 and if we take the sum of all its digits 9, 3, 12, 7, 19, 8, 27. So it comes 27 and 27 is, multi is a multiple of 3. So this number is divisible by 9. What about the divisibility rule of 10? Divisibility rule of 10 is very simple. The unit place digit should be 0. Unit place digit should be 0. Uh, like for example 1000, 1100, 1200, 1210 these are all the multiples of 10 and for, what about the divisibility rule of 11? 11, uh, 11 divisibility rule is such that uh, let's, let's take an example for this uh, our earlier example we can take it is 6416 divisibility rule for 11 says that we have to take the sum uh, we have to take the difference of sums what do I mean by difference of sums of alternating digits? Uh, let's uh, like this. These are the odd place digits: eight, four, twelve, six, eighteen, and these are. This is another sum: even place digits: six, 
6 plus 1 7 and we have to take the difference of this and the resulting number which we got 11 is divisible by 11 so the uh, uh, the, the divisibility rule for 11 is the difference of the sums of alternating digits of a number should be uh, should be divisible by 11. So in this case we can take uh, from left also from right also we can proceed from left to right or we can proceed from right to left all we have to do is take the uh, we have to calculate two sums first sum will be the uh, or um, first sum would be uh, would be for odd digits and the odd place digits and the second sum would be for the even place digits we can say uh, so alternating place digits sum should be taken and the difference of that sum and uh, should be taken and then that the resulting number should be divisible by 11 what about the divisibility rule of 12 divisibility rule of 12 is very similar to divisibility rule of 6 which states that the number should be divisible by 3 and 4 number should be divisible by both 3 and 4 uh, this is very similar to 6 in which we say the uh, number should be divisible by both 3 and uh, 2. Uh, so uh, for divisibility rule of 12, we have we have to uh, check whether number is divisible by 3 uh, and 4. If it is divisible by both 3 and 4, then we can say the number is divisible by 12. Now let's discuss some examples to see whether uh, to see our divisibility rules, how they apply to, uh, for uh, some numbers see this is given 480 is divisible by 2 or not we know the divisibility rule for 2 is uh, the unit place digit should be 0 2 4 6 8 so yes this number will be divisible by 2 645 divisible by 3 sum of digits for this is 6 4 10 plus 5 15 so yes this number will also be divisible by 3 what about uh, 250 divis uh, divide by 4 uh, for 4 the divisibility rule is the last two digit number should be divisible by 4 50 is not divisible by 4 uh, 12 times 4 is uh, uh, 48 and 13 times 4 is 52 two, uh, so we know that uh, this 50 is not divisible by 4 hence this number will not be divisible by will not be divisible by uh, two, um, 250 will not be divisible by 4 what about this uh, for 5 divisibility rule is the unit place digit should be 0 or 5 hence this number will be divisible what about this number if we uh, for 6 the divisibility rule is the number should be divisible by 2 and 3 uh, for 2 we, uh, for 2 this passes the uh, divisibility test 350 is divisible by 2 but for 3 but for 3 divisibility rule is sum of digits should be a multiple of 3 here the sum of digits is 8 8 is not a multiple of 3 hence this number is not divisible by 6 uh, what about uh, 12 30 divided by 7 will this number be uh, let's let's check uh, we have to take the twice of the unit place digit as we say we have to take the uh, double of uh, the unit place digit. 2 times 0 is 0 123 is the remaining number we subtracted we got 123 we can again apply the divisibility rule for this also uh, like 2 times 3 is 6 12 minus 6 is 6 and 6 is not uh, divisible by 7 hence we can say this number will also be not divisible by 7 what about uh, 70 uh, 7856 uh, divisible by 8 and the last three digits needs to be checked in the case of 8 and this 856 is divisible by 8 in the uh, by uh, 8 so this number will be divisible by 8 what about 9 what about this example 8 1739 divided by 9 so this will be 8 plus 7 15 3 18 9 27 so yeah this number is uh, 27 is a multiple of 9 hence this number will also be divisible by uh, 9 what about this um, this number 7 lakh 64 thousand eight hundred and fifty two 
we have to check the divisibility rule uh, and we have to check whether this number is divisible by 11 or not what we'll do is we'll take the alternating uh, alternating place sum so first sum will be 7 4 11 5 16 so first sum is 16 other sum would be 6 plus 8 14 plus 2 16 16 minus 16 is 0 0 can be divided by 11 so this number uh, 0 divided by 11 is 0 so we can say that this uh, number is divisible by 11 what about the last number 17 28 uh, divided by 12 for divisibility rule for uh, 12 we have to check whether the number is divisible by both 4 and 3 for 3 if we check 7 plus 1 8 2 10 plus 8 is 18 18 is divisible by 3 so it passes the divisibility test for 3 what about the divisibility test for 4 the last two digit is 28 and 4 times 7 is 28 so this number is divisible uh, by 4 also so uh, we can say this number is hence the number will be divisible by 12 also and we, uh, this is actually the 12 cube so uh, these are all the uh, examples for uh, test of divisibility i hope you like the video if you have any doubt you can post it in the comment section and i will try to answer your question as soon as possible if you are liking our content do subscribe to our channel please like share and uh, like and share the video thank you for watching have a great day